Okay, clue is eight again, and um, keeping in the theme of being concise today and straight to the point, so people can really grasp what I'm trying to say without doing multiple charts, which have been uh, portrayed in all my video casts over the past couple of days. Let's take a look at the RVX or the Russell 2000 Fear Index. Now, exactly what I thought was going to happen happened. Doesn't make me a genius. It simply means that I read charts better than most people. Um, and have a little bit of a clueless mind to accept the fact that um, you have to remain flexible and the only constant in the market and in life is change. So, let's move on from the philosophy to charts. So here we have the RVX, the Russell 2000 Volatility Index, and look what happened. We were down here. 15th was uh, 16th was here so we had that reversal spike let me get the drawing tool we had that reversal spike that I talked about up here okay what what did we do we came down tested the lower end of this bear channel slipped below that tested the fib at 23.6 ramped up okay ramped up failed little spinning top came down and guess what? We did a reversal. So let me just get all these lines out and give you a quick broader picture of what's going on. So this is what's going on. We're still in this bear flag channel. Now bear flag channel doesn't mean that they're going to break down in one go. So what my gut feeling tells me is that if we have a pullback tomorrow, I still believe we're going to have a strong finish to Friday given the fact that seasonality dictates that um, we have a strong finish to the monthly options expiration given the fact that a majority of institutional investors as well as bloggers and such investors included, retail investors included, are still quite bearish. So institutional um, action on the f on the on the uh, on the options front shows that uh, they're still in a very defensive posture so given that I still think that Friday is gonna be fine we we're talking about tomorrow so here's what I think might happen we might pull up here get up to about the 20 level which is going to be a nice sharp pullback in the market and then we drop hard and we come down and test this bear flag again at that point I believe it breaks down goes to the 17 level if not lower at this point we do have a reversal tail right here See these reversal tails? And what happened in the last couple of times if we don't have any emotional biases and we simply look at these patterns? What happened the last couple of times? First time, second time, every time that happened, went to the top of the channel. So wouldn't be surprised if it goes to the top of the channel. Was I right last night? Absolutely. Am I going to be right tomorrow? I have absolutely no clue. All I know is that this is what I think might happen. So be very cautious. Don't take any large long positions. Buy the dips. And um, and get ready for the end of the month uh, window dressing, which I think has an 80% probability, as I like to say, of having a strong finish to the month of September. So let's ask the Scots, the Europeans, in Brussels, the ECB. And by the way, that's a very ugly looking building in Brussels where the ECB is. But anyway, that's a different topic. Um, so bottom line is that... Uh, that's what I think is going to happen. We are going to move up. Tap while we test this downtrend line. If we overshoot the top end of this channel, which would be very rough on the markets so short term, and then we drop hard, or we drop hard from here, and monitor it and see if it works. If you monitored this last night, you'd have known that it worked right from here. I'm sorry, not the overshoot. Let's take a look at the VIX on the same uh, vein, so we can see it. It's good to see what the what the what the short side is doing or the bear side is doing because that's what's called uh, be aware of your surroundings this is what we did now this is a little bit more pronounced by the way okay this is very much pronounced so let's take a look at this and by the way I did show all this to last night um, we have uh, we were here 16th okay so we had this reversal tail and please monitor my videos from last night so you'll see we had this reversal tail um, we came down hard then we ramped up after the Fed boom t tested the top end of this and then we fell now we have a reversal candle here this my friends is a bear ch bear flag okay this is a bear flag right here 
So if this bear flag resolves to the upside, all hell breaks loose. We're going to go to 1775 and higher. If it keeps on with this bear flag, then we're going to basically move up from here, pull back a little bit earlier, and then break down. We have yet to see what happens. Ask Mr. Draghi. Ask Mr. Uh, whoever it is in Scotland. And, um, and then we'll know what happens. Okay, so let me get all the lines out, draw some clean lines. This is a reversal candle, no question about it. We might very well get inside. Once we get inside this channel, okay, I'm a big believer of that, you accelerate. Just laws of nature, okay? Ask Mr. Newton. And then, uh, and then you hit this resistance up here. We fall down. If we break this, we're going to fall hard. And then at that point, I believe we fall here. If we break above this, then we are going to all hell breaks loose. I'll be a bit shorter by using my IWM puts, which I did very effectively today, by the way. Um, and uh, that's what happens. Okay? So let's take a look at um, the NASDAQ composite very quickly. Uh, this is not uh, what I would call a uh, very positive sign. Uh, the NASDAQ composite hit resistance right here exactly at this level uh, it's not rocket science right right here on this downtrend channel look at that amazing huh it's what I do all day I watch all these things on all my 10 monitors um, so you basically move um, from here you have a reversal candle wouldn't be surprised if we get to the bottom of this Bollinger um, so you're talking about a nice pullback in a lot of the stocks and we try to bounce from here if we do fail here we're gonna come down here that's not going to look too good. Overall, the Kopak curve is still neutral, and um, that's the, that. Those are the, the you know this could be uh, construed as a inverse head and shoulder head, left shoulder. So we you know we did the left shoulder. See that? We did this bounce from here. But if we break the right shoulder, uh, then we are going to fall. So if we keep the uh, and this is the neckline. We never, we never really reached there, but if we cross the neckline, we're going to go higher. So, got to monitor these things. Let's take a look at the Russell 2000, the Russell 2000 daily. Uh, let me get all the lines out of here so we can see a clearer picture. The Russell 2000 uh, is uh, mixed. We're on the lower Bollinger on the daily. Um, this is the most hated index from what I can see overall um, and uh, we're in the lower Bollinger right here oops where's my drawing tool okay uh, right here and um, I wouldn't be surprised if we get up to 1180 okay right now the downtrend line is right here around 1170 level so we need, definitely need to break over that if we're gonna see some uh, possibly new highs if we break below this Bollinger we are destined to test 1080 and that is a possibility so we have to be on the right side of the coin very flexible get ready to change your mind and um, and that's it you know the only constant in life and in trading is change so be adaptable um, in the meantime I can always draw the trend lines if you want to see it that way point that I want to uh, put in everyone's mind as we wrap up this video cast is if you're thinking of trading a linear market or a straight line market it's no longer grandpa's market okay there are swing stocks that I've clearly shown okay many of them that you can hold not look and they keep on zigzagging on their way up that's a different story but if you're a trader trading weekly or daily options um, you can rest assured that you're not going to get a linear move you need to be flexible you need to be fast you need to not ask too many questions and not be in a state of analysis paralysis read my mission statement on my website the more and more analysis that you do the lesser trades you will uh, the, the lesser profits you'll make or even larger losses you'll make so that's my bottom line okay welcome a very warm welcome to all the new free trial subscribers um, and real-time members who are with us let's increase the number let's get a lot of friends in there we have a promotional discount in play uh, which you should be able to see on the website which gives 20 to 30 percent off 
I want to sign up this week going into the end of the month. Take advantage of